beautiful Libra. Welcome back to Lion Gates Heart Tarot. This is Lauren. This is your read for the second half of February 2023. But if you find this at any other point, you are meant to see it. As always, please only take what resonates. Um, if this read is not for you, check out your Sun Moon Rising size by clicking videos at the top of the screen. We're also releasing a well, it's a daily readish every 48 hours, as well as the angel card message for the day. So check out those. They are new from this week. Um, somebody asked me to do daily reads. Unfortunately, I haven't got the time to do that at the minute. It might change in the future, obviously. We just run with energy, as you know, but I can do 48 hourly ones. So enjoy, guys. Make sure you're like, subscribed and ring that notification bell so you're aware when I post so I don't get lost in the abyss, because I often do, and people have been on subscribe from the channel because darkness always attacks light and we just don't allow it to so this is gonna be what have we got so far oh my goodness oh my goodness libra oh it's exciting i can feel the energy today it's like um beautiful this is why i can feel it <laughs> it's like a rumbling in my tummy in my solar plexus and it's it's just epic energy it's not anxiety it's excitement it's like you know something's coming my beautiful beautiful libra you know something's coming libra and you know your energy's been telling you for a while hasn't it we have the ten of wands on the bottom your energy has been telling you for a while and this is just clarification of that so ace of pentacles thank you i mean absolutely ten of pentacles ace of pentacles could it be any better i think not Oh, yes, it could, because we've got the page of wands as well. So we've got the spark of something new, exciting stuff. Right. Knight of wands, then angel spirit, guys. Thank you. Knight of wands. We have the page of pentacles in reverse. What else do we have? And the knight of swords. Oh, this is interesting. Very interesting. And we have the hermit. Boom. Right. The hyphant, please. What do we have for our beautiful Libra? Libra, 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 Libra. Thank you. Strength. Inner strength. Believing in yourself. You've absolutely got this. Absolutely. I can see that. Your read is going to be amazing. We love this energy first thing in the morning. What an amazing way to start my day. You are the high priestess. You are the emperor. Oh my goodness, you've got counterparts. That's amazing. And the page of swords. Look at the blooming energy in this reading, Libra. Wow. Right. Six of wands then. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks so much. What else? I know you want to throw some more out. I can feel it. Again, that energy is there. What else do you want to say? If you throw the hyphen out with the hyphen angel spirit, guys, honestly, they do take the mickey, don't they? Absolutely. They're so funny. Got you. Anything else? Anything else? Nope. Okay. <gasps> and the bomb we have, the wheel of fortune. So we've got 1010. Hashtag just saying 1010. Wowzers. Google it. It's amazing. <laughs> so we have the Ace of Pentacles. That's clarified with the Ten of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. We have the Knight of Wands. That's clarified with the Page of Pentacles in reverse. The Knight of Swords and the Hermit Energy. We have the Hyphen clarified with Strength. The Emperor the High Priestess and the Page of Swords. And we have the Six of Wands. That's clarified with the Queen of Cups and the King of Swords. At the bottom of one pack, we have the Ten of Wands. And at the bottom of the other pack, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Absolute boom. I'm just going to adjust slightly, grab my massive cup of tea, take a seat, and we shall begin, my beautiful Libra. You grab your cup of tea too. Okay, my beautiful Libra, we're starting with the Ace of Pentacles. What a way to enter the second half of February. I mean, the sun is shining today. It's a glorious, glorious day. It might be cold, but it doesn't matter. The sun is shining. The angels are seeing. We're starting with the Ace of Pentacles. That's amazing. That's a firm foundation in which to build. This can mean, excuse me, angels coming in my ears. 
Thank you. This can mean a um, bounty coming to you, absolutely, because um, it's clarified with the Ten of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. So this can also mean a development of energy. This Page of Wands can represent you getting in touch with your creativity. This can represent you a new brick of a new idea and the start of a new business venture. It's in its infancy being a page, but it's telling you it's going to bring you the world. Firm foundation in which to build the Ten of Pentacles. It's going to bring you wealth. It's going to bring you success. Absolutely. Absolutely blooming go for it. And we have movement forward. And this is after watching Lauren do your read, obviously. <laughs> We've got the Knight of Wands here. Hello, angels. Sorry, my bear with. Just a Claire coming in. Hello, Claire. Good morning. We have the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is absolutely beautiful. This is movement forward. This can mean change of home because obviously if you're getting these pentacles, you can be moving home. But this is movement forward with the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is on his chariot. He's charging forward. He's an energetic worker. It's a pursuit of a vision and it's telling you to go for this vision. Now, we've got the Page of Pentacles in reverse. What that basically tells me here is stop being impatient. <laughs> still being impatient because it's going to come in for you it's just you want it now you want it now okay absolutely get it in business we want everything the next day but stop being impatient with the page of pentacles you are charging forward as the knight of swords and you're rushing in with no fear and you're like i'm on my horse and cart as the knight of wands i'm also charging forward with the knight of swords but what's it saying here is think things through and how do we think things through my beautiful beautiful libra we go into hermit mode which is absolutely epic the synchronicity of these cards as usual are on form the hermit is the pause okay this is patience it's um it's solitude it's healing it's seeking the truth and getting a clear vision moving forward and when we pause this is when we gain our clarity this is when we get our epiphany moments it's awesome we think because life is so fast and furious all the time we're at work we're at home we're cooking we're cleaning we're doing 12 million jobs at once how are we supposed to connect we need to pause this is when we go into hermit mode. When we pause, we gain clarity. This is when we can move forward. And this is when we gain our best ideas. And if that's a meditation, you need to listen. Listen to the meditation. Get that gut feeling. Get that insight. What appears in your third eye? You know, when we open our third eye and we ground, we protect, we do a meditation. This is when we gain that clarity. And the hermit is enables you to do that. I, I say I'm going into hermit mode when I'm on holiday because that's when I'm pausing. So I have a few days off and this is when I get epiphanies. This is when um, it was during Lionsgate. Obviously, I was told to do this and I was like, how am I supposed to fit that in with my other businesses? I haven't got time to breathe. But they've enabled me to do so because it was my destiny. And this is you following your destiny. And we're going to the hyphen. This can represent a teacher energy. Um, and that's clarified with strength, the emperor, the high priestess and swords. So whatever it is you're working on, my beautiful Libra, oh my goodness. You could be a spiritual teacher, absolutely. But whatever it is, you're the boss energy here. You are so high vibrational, my beautiful Libra. It's You're touching the angels. You're high-fiving them even, which is absolutely epic, isn't it? It's wonderful. And that touch and vibration, you feel that vibrational frequency is phenomenal. The high hyphen in the following card always offers advice now with the hyphen we've got strength so the following card is believing in yourself when you're believing in yourself you're changing that vibrational frequency and you're moving forward you're sat in your boss energy here with the emperor this is high honor it's achievement it's ambition um it's it can represent a a dad or a father but this in this case in this read this is about your independent power so this talks about you sat in boss energy so if this is a business you want to start this brick of a new idea here it's going to be absolutely amazing seeing your high priestess energy because the high priestess is a beautiful beautiful energy with business and spirituality you've got so much spirituality here with the hierophant the emperor the high priestess it's phenomenal so the high priestess basically says remain balanced because when we're balanced in life, 
we're balanced in business, we're balanced in our world, everything around us is in balance too. It's perfect. You're in alignment. When we're in alignment, we're in receiving mode. When we're in receiving mode, everything comes to us and it flows in like water. It's perfectly, perfectly balanced, which is beautiful. Your high priestess is you see what others can't. It's um, it can be hidden secrets and illusions, but it's the balancing of the emotions. It's using your mystic power and your inner wisdom moving forward. And with the hyphen energy, you see what others can't. This could mean you're a reader. This could mean you're a psychic. This could mean you using your skill set in order to help other people with the high priestess and the hyphen there. You could be coming... Um, you could be becoming a leader in sorts, which is absolutely amazing to see. Now, we have the Page of Swords there as well. The Page of Swords, as you can see, I think he's always looking to the past, the Page of Swords. So maybe this is something that you've done in the past. Absolutely. The Page of Swords also talks about, you know, like a childlike, it's embarking on this new idea and you want to be eager and proud of it. Do be eager and proud of it. Do be eager and proud of it. Absolutely. Go forward. And you're going to be victorious here with the Six of Wands. I mean, it's amazing. The Six of Wands just talks about victory. Um, and as you can see on the old tarot, I want to show you this because it's quite important. She's facing the devil, but he's the other side of the door. She's telling him to do one. So this is you sat in your hyphen energy. This is your beautiful high priestess energy. This is when you literally can squash darkness like that you can release yourself with your king of swords energy you can release yourself with one swift cut and that's not being mean that is because you know your power that is because you know your worth you know what you're here for you need to this is destiny i can feel it this is destiny riding out for you you need to go forward it's going to be victorious sit in your queen of cups energy as you can see in the new tarot she's on rocky waters she still maintains her heart and she's looking at her cup be careful though because she's got her legs crossed so she can be blocking energy there so don't block energy do it with an open heart is what it's saying sit balanced like your high priestess because she's placed next to her use your entrepreneurial skills use your business skills here with the king of swords as i've just said any energy that doesn't serve you i'm afraid we're going to have to release and we're going to have to move forward and as harsh as that sounds you are just hyphen energy now and you don't take no toffee it's as simple as that. You choose the people you have in your vibration. You choose the vibrational frequency that matches yours. And you'll feel things fall away when you're in hyphen and high priestess energy. And that's just a shedding, my beautiful, beautiful Libra. And that's absolutely fine because you're shedding of energy because you don't vibrate at the same frequency. This is enabling you to move forward. Now, this new journey can feel a bit burdenous here with the Ten of Wands. It's telling me it's going to be a lot of work and you feel like you're shouldering the world. But don't worry, the Wheel of Fortune is coming in the wheel of fortune is fortune on your side the wheel is turning it's telling you that life is a lottery get on the blooming wheel we have 10 10 10 10 look it up it's absolutely phenomenal um it's a beautiful beautiful angel number it's very very exciting and i'm very excited for you especially to finish this read so let me know in the comments down below what you're working on i'm i love to know i'm going to pull you one of these beautiful beautiful animal cards angel spirit guides for our beautiful libra could we have an overarching energy for this read and what do they need to know about themselves what power do they need to stand in in order to put this into fruition i look at them as power cards they're amazing i'm so connected with animals you see i was so drawn to this pack it spoke to me oh flyer beautiful let's have a look shall we elk elk nobility celebrate your accomplishments with humanity you are crowned with success powerful forces guide you i can absolutely see that your ability to conquer challenges is limitless oh my goodness there you go Thanks, Angel Spirit, guys. That's beautiful. The power is within. We all hold source, right? It's about igniting that flame from within. Right, Angel card to finish this read, please, my beautiful Angel Spirit, guys. What do you have to say for Libra? The beautiful Libras, what do we have? Thanks. Archangel Gabriel. Oh, I love him. Love him. 
best hashtag one of my other besties you are blessed to receive this archangel card for your guidance is to evoke archangel gabriel who works on the white ray for grace and purification it's time to release old memories ingrained habits and mental patterns which lower your vibrations archangel gabriel will bring order and discipline into your life so everything runs smoothly you can also call on him to bring you clarity and joy you are reminded that you are a beautiful light a wise spirit and only that the material mantle disguises your true self so envision yourself surrounded by pure white light let your pure spirit emerge and fly the affirmation is i am pure and light how beautiful is that how beautiful is that and you are and you work with the angels because you've got hyphen and high priestess energy to so connect and my angels have just come in and said yeah lauren you're right so there you go my beautiful libra if this was read was for you give me a thumbs up they're completely private leave me a little heart leave me a little message i love connecting with your energy don't forget to like subscribe that is so important and ring the notification bell because i'm getting lost in the abyss and we've got darkness attacking light as usual and we don't allow that do we so i'm sending loads of love and light your way my beautiful for Libra you're going to have an epic one that's loads of love from me Lauren and bye-bye for now